Alright, so someone that I know showed me this link, and I'll put the uh, link in the description box as well as the link to the original article. This is Activist Mummy's blog, and uh, she's written about a news story. She's worded it quite nicely, so I'll just kind of read what she's written. Intact man who claimed to be transgender put in women's prison. Guess what happened immediately? It's almost as if we told you this would happen. Whoever believed for a minute that a man, a criminal no less, who claimed to be transgender and yet had not undergone any kind of surgery to make him, you know, less male, would actually be perfectly docile in a women's prison, is an absolute fool. That's exactly what the completely ignorant progressives in the UK did, however, and it immediately proved to be a terrible idea. Because it was always a terrible idea. Diamond and Silk have the story. The purportedly transgender prisoner who petitioned the government to be put in a women's prison is now accused of sexually attacking four female prisoners in the New Hall Jail in Wakefield, West Yorkshire, England. The man was placed in the women's prison even though he never went through sex reassignment surgery. In fact, the first sexual assault occurred only a few days after he first arrived at the women's prison. I'll let you read that next segment by yourself. They also note that British prison governors had warned the government that female prisoners might be put in danger by the growing number of men claiming to be transgender being housed among them. You don't say. This is beyond insanity. How can so many people be so afraid of offending anyone that they'll ignore reality to the point of believing in a prison inmate when he claims to be a woman? England is like a petri dish for terrible, self-destructive, culturally Marxist policies, and it's causing their once great kingdom to crumble before our very eyes. The nation of the Magna Carta is turning into a cesspool of crime and cognitive dissonance, all in the name of progress. They're progressing all right, to their own demise. And this is actually true of the majority of uh, developed, progressive, modern nations. This is a direct result of the transgender agenda, and this is obviously supported by the New World Order, what is this? They're achieving order through chaos. They're making everyone so confused they can't tell about up and down anymore. They don't know right or wrong. They refuse to recognize what is reality and what is fantasy. But what this is doing is putting vulnerable people in danger. Okay, so the issue here is the potential that a transgender woman would be at danger if put in a male's prison. Now, first of all, let's look at this. The transgender woman has committed a crime which has warranted her being imprisoned. Okay, the transgender woman has also chosen to have sex change operations to change the external appearance of that person's body. Okay, so there we have two choices. The choice to commit a crime, the choice to change the person's body. What they've decided to try and protect people like that is put them in the female prisons instead. So that person has made two choices, which put them at risk in a prison. Okay? Now, if we decide that any person who says that they are female, even if they haven't had a sex change operation, uh, should have the right to be in a female prison, well, that is obviously just ridiculous. And what that's doing is putting at risk the females instead. The females have chosen to commit a crime and that's why they're in prison, but they haven't chosen to be female. They haven't chosen to appear as a female. They're being put in danger by a man who just basically claims on paper to have a fantasy that he's a female without even taking measures to try and change the flesh. You know, I'm not going to expect the people who are going to stop pretending that females can turn into males and vice versa, because that's what the androgynous agenda has done. You know, they warp perceptions by presenting us with transgender people in the media, claiming they're the correct gender that they're appearing as when they're not. They show all kinds of perverted relationships and attitudes and practices, and so they spread their agenda of depravity and the destruction of natural gender, the destruction of natural affection and family. They do this, and this is the result. This is one of the many results. It's extremely, it's extremely widespread. And you know, I'm not saying that all MTFs are dangerous people, because that isn't true. But you know, it is worth paying attention to what they themselves say about themselves. So I'm just going to uh, just going to put a little clip of an 
open transgender male to female, talking about the typical attractions of male to female transgenders. Here's my little story for you, and that's that. 50% of trans women that I know are actually lesbians. They transition from male to female and they like to date women. I feel like, actually, I feel like more than that, which is not surprising, but it's actually a more common thing than you actually think. It's so common for trans women to date women.